Hey guys! Hey. Here we are again, Mr. Aday over here. Hey, this is Aday. Yes. Hey. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes. And if you're coming back, we love you. We love you so, so much. <laughs> and also for the new people, we also love you guys. That's what I just said, actually. Yeah, you said, said welcome. Oh, yeah, yeah, we love you too. So we love you guys too. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to continue with our questions, the yeah. Get to Know Us tag. Yeah. This is part two. Mm -hmm. We already have part one and those yes. who uh, commented on part one, thank you a lot for the compliments that you guys have given to my wife and I. Yes. And we really appreciate you guys for all your questions and we are getting a lot of questions also. So we are doing our best to answer all your questions. And if yes. you have more questions, don't forget to, you know, put it under the comment section or send it to us uh, privately. Yes. So uh, this is part two. First. Yeah, go first, like always. Okay. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Mm. What do you love about my sister? And why did you choose her to be your queen? Wow. Yeah, wow. wow. That's, that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. What do I love about you? What is in there to love about my wife? Mm. She is lovely. She is... She is beautiful. Wow. You are so precious. She, she's, she's really <laughs> amazing. And uh, the most thing that I admire about you mm -hmm. is you going all your way out to really take good care of me. Whenever I come home from work, That's this woman nice. makes sure that I have eaten. She makes the best meal on this planet <laughs> so i'm gonna give it to her. she makes sure she prepares meals she she makes sure that the house is clean and she's just an amazing woman i call her the real definition of a virtuous woman Whoa. yeah really babe you are really a virtuous woman and that is why i love her so much and the reason why i chose her is because God opened my eyes for me to see that virtuousness in her. And that's why I chose you. Wow. So that's why you chose me to be your queen. Yes, definitely. Who wouldn't? That's speechless. Mm-hmm. My rapper will. My rapper Oh, I, I am still unboxing. Oh, Pastor yeah. Byron, I'm still unwrapping the box, the gift, you know. Opening it. it. Opening it. Baku, baku. I'm still, you know, <laughs> unwrapping the gift. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good, good. Yeah. I am speechless. Oh. Here's your turn. Tell me. What have you learned so far about marriage? Mm. Well, this so, goes for you. Yes, I'm going to answer this one. Um, what I've really learned so far, because people say that we're still in the honeymoon phase, we're six months into our in our into our marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, 25th will be six months. 25th of January. Um, so what I've learned so far is that I've learned many things, but one thing that I've really that has really stuck with me mm -hmm. is how to really keep everything fun. Yeah. She does that. Just keep everything fun. Uh, yeah, just keep everything light because when you meet, when you uh, live together, that's when you're really going to see each other's uh, temperaments yeah. at work. So we have had those moments where his temperament is kind of like irritated me and my temperament has been like too much for him. Isn't that true? Okay. We're being real, right? Yes. Okay, so... You know, I... Oh, you want to be real? Yeah. You want to be real? <laughs> Let me tell you guys what I don't like about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just let's let's just be real. Like, hmm. um, he is more of like a laid back, flagmatic, flagmatic type uh, of person. Yeah, I'm flag. And me, I'm really like choleric. a goal goal oriented Col choleric. Am I choleric? I'm more melancholic. No, me melancholic, choleric, yeah. Choleric, like somewhere in between. Mela. I am a lot because I can also be very sanguine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the whole point <laughs> is that you have different personalities that come together in a home. And I just noticed that 
you don't have to make it so um, like naggy. You don't have to be naggy. You can you can find fun ways to get stuff done in a way that everyone is still happy. So one thing I've really learned is how to keep the atmosphere positive in my yeah, home. Yeah. That's what I've learned so far. Thanks to Corona, we've had an extended honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Actually, we've had an extended honeymoon. And I want that to kind of stay. I don't want it to end. I don't want our honeymoon hey. to end. Mm, enjoy, man. Enjoy, man. <laughs> enjoy, man. I don't want the honeymoon to end. Mm. So I've kept my mind busy with how to make sure the atmosphere in the home stays peaceful, stays fun. And there are ways to keep um, the atmosphere fun. Mm -hmm. Despite your personality differences. Okay, and you? What have you learned so far in marriage? What I've learned so far, and that is one of the best advice that I got, was uh, from uh, my bishop, who told us that in the beginning phase, in the, in the phase that we are in, so one of the best advice that I got was uh, from uh, Bishop Bernard, who said that in the phase that we are in right now, the beginning phase, that everything that we are doing and that we are going to do, we should exaggerate it, you know, so that it will stake mm. the foundation of our relationship. Yeah, that's also true. That's mm. the advice we got. So that the foundation of our relationship will be strong in the beginning. So uh, one of the things that I do is when I come home, I try to come home with the same energy that I left the house with. Uh, it's sometimes difficult, but that is uh, my goal. So I come home with the same energy and you know, kiss my wife. Uh, that's the first thing that I do. And then yep. uh, I'm going to change and then we make sure that uh, the, rest the rest follows. So mm -hmm. that is that is what I've, one of the most uh, uh, beautiful thing that I've learned uh, yeah. so far. He said, exaggerate the demonstration of your, of love. your love. Yeah. Aha! Aha! That's what you have to do. Okay, next question. What do you like the most about your husband? Oh. Hmm, where do I start? What do I love the most about my husband? I just love how he's so thoughtful. That's what I love most about my husband. So for example, I always, uh, I think that the bedroom is quite cold. So what he does is he bought a heating system for my side of the bed. And um, every evening before I step into the bedroom, before I slip into the bed, he's already switched on my heating system so that when I get under my, my sheets, it's warm. So like he thinks about me and it shows in all the little things. And that's Aww. what I love about you. Okay, it's my turn. Uh, where did you... Uh, where did your husband learn to play oh. the trumpet? Oh, where did I learn to play the trumpet? Uh, the trumpet musical instrument that I play, I learned it uh, at the age of 10 years. Yeah. 10? Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. How? Because you came to no, one no. of your 11. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I learned the trumpet when I was 8 years. Hey! I wasn't there. I wasn't oh, this, this is so long a time ago. Okay, so uh, I learned the trumpet when I was eight years back uh, in eight Ghana. Years, yeah, wow. I went to the uh, school Reverend John Tay, where uh, we had a musical band, and, and that is where I started learning to play the trumpet. And then I came over to the Netherlands, and then I started to develop my skills. So I learned it back in Ghana from the two wonderful musical teachers, that is uh, George, who also performed. At on our, our wedding, wedding day, Sam is George and also uh, Eric, who Yo. taught me how to play the trumpet. Sam is George had the best improv on our wedding. The best improv. I'm singing that song to this day. I know all the ad libs to that song. It's amazing. Mm. When you're getting married, you Your love improv. is kind. Hey, what's well, so like a baby day? Your love is patient. <laughs> Your love is kind. Uh. Oh, sorry, I can't bear you. Me there. Your love is patient. Okay. Uh, how did you know that both of you are meant to be? 
this is actually a question that we answer in our upcoming video yeah so we are going to tell you in details how we know that we were meant to be for each other in the upcoming video when we talk about how we met and how i knew he was the one and he knew i was the one so watch out for that video so it's your turn oh okay okay were you all born and raised in the netherlands i was i wasn't <laughs> i was born in ghana and i came here when at the age of 10 years yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. 10 or 11 you told me 11 yeah, oh, 10 or 11, yeah. And yeah. I was born and raised in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. I'm a true Amsterdammer. Yes. As Dutch as it gets for Ghanaians. How do you forgive each other when you have had a fight? How do you forgive each other? Mm -hmm. No, we have never had a fight. We have, we have more arguments before. than yeah. fights. We have never like, had a fight. Before. Yeah, we really have discussions. I, you know, arguments. I really, yeah. Yeah, how much? I, I believe we've had just one argument since yeah. we got married. And that yeah. was like in the first weeks of our marriage. When, oh, yeah, when I remember. When was, I, I was like, know. that's yeah. when I knew I was married. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, because we had I an was argument. ironing. Yeah. And for me, in my parental home where I come from, when you're done with the iron, you turn it off and you leave it in the plug, no, no problem. You go your way. Him, on the other hand, in his home, he learned that you switch it off and, and you take the pull it out. out of the plug. And that means the iron is off. So we're going to church and I just switched it off. And then he tells me one Sunday, mind you, you also have to pull it out of the plug. I'm like, no, because I've also, I already switched it off. Next Sunday comes a week after I do the same thing. I just switch it off. I don't pull out the plug. And he goes, why did you not pull out the plug? Yo, I don't want this house to burn down. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I knew I was married because they're always talking about um, arguments about the iron. Yeah, about different stuff. People the do. The iron is a classic. Well, I I, we, well, well, we, we also had that argument about the uh, the cream, my cream. This woman will come and just put her whole finger in my cream like this, chukum. and I want my cream to be. I don't know Flat. how he takes his cream, but that was, yeah. yeah, that's not even an argument we had. Yeah, that was but, before yeah. marriage, that's not even, because I don't you even... You should go like this. Yeah, well, you know. you know that you are going to live, with, you are living with the same person in you know, one roof, so you might as well make up, so that you both of you have, uh, yeah, you're quite, your peace of mind <laughs> to live up. together, you know, so make up uh, and... Uh, make up how though? How do you make up, yeah, I mean... Just say you are sorry, hmm. whether you are right or wrong, and uh, uh, yes. And for me, I think we just move on. Like we just move on we and, just move and, on. And, and I don't know. There shouldn't. Uh, is there? Should you have a moment like oh, I forgive him now? Just no. it's just one of those things. Just brush. Well, it sometimes up. yeah, you have to brush it up, but sometimes you really have to think about the whole situation and calm yourself down and when you're calm you know you approach the person and you talk about what happened you have to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, what definitely. happened that is where forgiveness start start from talking yeah, about what have happened He's right. and then uh you ask each other for forgiveness yeah and then after you've had that uh, and I after that crack some jokes crack some jokes and then let it go yeah so that's how it goes first that's how talk it goes about first. it we talk about it then um, um, we yeah, both say we are sorry. We both say we are sorry. Yeah. And then uh, I start cracking jokes for her to, you know, laugh and then uh, we move on. So is it yours or is it mine? Hi. Uh, what age is it normal to date someone? Wow. Hmm. What age is it normal to date someone? Well, uh, that is something that I've thought about it before. Mm -hmm. And probably, uh, what is the age for you to date someone? I will say that you need to be at a matured age. That's the age, matured. matured. Because that's also something that I told my wife uh, when we were dating, that you need to be mm, mentally prepared for this journey that we are going to go yeah, for. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah. that. So you need, to be, you need to know what you know what you really want and with guys uh it takes a lot of uh time for us to uh develop that maturity but women 
develop it much more faster than uh, men. So what age? Mature. Maturity. You have to know for yourself uh, if you are matured enough to handle a relationship. Can I ask you one thing? Yeah. Does that mean um, that women or ladies who want uh, to be married mm -hmm. should look for an older guy because older men are maybe more mentally mature than the younger men? Uh, well, not necessary, but it helps though. The fact that someone is older than you doesn't make him matured because we have uh, older men who are not matured and we have younger men who are much more matured. But age also plays a role because someone who is also uh, uh, of age has much more experience. Yeah, so, so that if plays I also can in, add something an to impact that. to it. It's like maturity is the key. And maturity is not defined by age, like my husband said. And what I can add to it is that for the guys, can I advise the guys over mm, here? Please. Well, guys, before you approach a lady, uh, know your intention. Know where you want to go with a relationship before you enter into any re relationship with any person. And make your intention really clear to the person that this is my intention. It helps a lot. It helps the person really, and it gives the woman an assurance that the relationship that she is in mm -hmm. is something vivid. I think also she knows. And she knows that she's not being played. So ladies ask the men what their intentions are, yeah. and guys make your intention know. He said it all. Can we go to the next question? Yes. Thank you. Okay, what is your secret, both of you, for a good and healthy relationship preparing for marriage? And that kind of links with this question. Yeah. So what is your secret? There is no secret to okay. it. Secret, secrets are things that are not shared, so we're not <laughs> going to share it. Well, I'm uh, there is no secret. We don't so have any secret, so we're good. Preparing for marriage. First of all, uh, you need to be a prayerful person we are christians and like yes. my wife said that this channel of ours is mm -hmm. based on kingdom marriage yes. so everything that we do is based on the knowledge of the kingdom of god, of god. so uh what i did uh, at a young age was that i was praying for my future wife that is something that i never stopped doing i prayed for god to to preserve my future wife for me, to, wow. to make me meet the one that he has destined for me. That is something that I was praying for. Can I? Yeah. I just remembered that there is an elder in my church who advised me when I was 16 years old to start praying for my husband. And at the time I thought, why would I do that now? because I was 16 um, but he convinced me or he even actually started praying my first prayer for me for my husband and since that age I have been praying for my husband not knowing who that was going to be yeah. and that definitely is a game changer because once again the words that you speak the prayers that you you pray daily they accumulate weight and um, can I preach yeah preach on Preach on. The Come. word of God says that no word of God that is spoken returns unto him void. Mm -hmm. And that is like a key uh, quotation that I also speak to my husband about a lot because that means that whatever you speak, I told my husband like today yeah. that whatever you speak sticks to the wall. So every word, imagine every word you've ever spoken just sticking to the wall in your living room, sticking to the wall in your kitchen. Your bedroom, Ready to manifest. Sticking there, waiting till the manifestation day. Uh, prayer. Prayer is really the key. Prayer is really the key and the secret. It's a secret sauce. Yeah. So yeah, that was it. Yeah, we're done. Empty. So yeah, if you have more questions, keep them coming. I uh, thank you for this lovely question. We well. enjoy doing this. We really this. enjoy the yes, these questions. It's really mind blowing. It wasn't mind blowing. Yeah, they, they, blew, they blew my mind away. Blue. So, um, we're going to do more uh, videos, of course. Share the love um, if you think this is going to be helpful for someone. Yeah. And 
subscribe to our channel so that you're not left out whenever we post a new video if yeah. you haven't already we love you we love you so so much stay safe stay healthy stay healthy and until the next time <laughs>